Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Netherlands. Let's fight off that rising tide. So, now this is interesting. Um, let's see, where is Jen? What Jen would like to do is, Jen, she is, unfortunately, she doesn't have that zone. Jen would like to build a pump house right here and start pumping out down south. But she doesn't have that. She does have, um, let's see, she could build one in here. Or here. She, okay, so she's got those cards. Oh, she, she can build in green. She was going to come over here to land on Masenval to build another port because we're trying to build ports. But she could come over here instead to build a pump. But it's pointless because this pump wouldn't be able to do anything because there's no water in here and therefore there's no waterways to connect to anything else. So Jen can't build a pump that's really going to help. But what could Jen do? Jen, before she, remember, I think Jen's going to stick to her original plan. She's going to come here. She's going to build a port because we're working on these ports because she's got the card to do it. But before she does, she could, she would like to close this back up or close this up. But the problem is Jen cannot build dikes because there's water here. So Jen would have to spend two of her four actions, one, two, to get rid of this water. And then three, she could build a dike. And hey, now she has stopped the spread of this water. It's not going to flow south anymore. So she could have cut that off completely. But then that means her fourth action means she'll just move over here and she won't get the, the port built that she was hoping to get built. Hmm. Right. So that's not good. But here's the interesting thing. I, I think Jen's going to do it anyway. So she'll wait a little bit. Because remember, we can't afford to run out of these. So Jen's first action, she cleared out the two so it was dry so she could build dikes. Her third action, she built a dike here. Her fourth action, hey, she could build a dike over here. But she's not going to bother with that. It's just a single one. She can, we can clear that out later. Her fourth action was to move and get into this little zone right there. Next turn, she will build her second port. Because here's an interesting thing. Remember, Jen's special power is when she's at a port, she can send cards to me anywhere in the world. She's got Flavoland um, on her next turn. I'll be up here in her Flavoland. If she sends me Flavoland, then I can use the Flavoland card to build a uh, pump over here. And we could get pumps, two pumps working in this area to, to try to empty the, out the water that much faster. So that's going to potentially work out pretty well. And don't forget, Jen also has this special event she can use whenever she wants to move either of us immediately to any place adjoining the North or the South Sea. Okay, so that was Jen's, her four actions are done. Now, we activate pumps, but we still don't have any because we haven't built any yet. Now, Jen's going to draw two cards, which is going to put her at her hand size of seven. Oh, again, wrong deck. Her hand size is seven. All right, she gets an orange card, and she gets a green card. Ooh, so she could get her third port built. We could get almost all our ports done very quickly. And now, Jen's at her hand size. She's got to start using these cards, or she'll have to start discarding them, which is always painful in a pandemic game. So she's drawn two. We didn't get any storms because we're not going to get any more storms for a while until we dig deeper in the deck. Um, now, uh, dikes fail. We're going to draw two more. And Zood Beveland, uh, which is over here, South Beveland, right over here, gets hit again. It has no dikes to get hit, so it gets a single cube, which is no big deal. A single cube doesn't spread. And Friesland, which is up north, right? Oh, Friesland gets a second cube, or no, gets a dike failing. And it's either this one, which means the North Sea gets in, or it's this one, which means the South Sea gets in. Um, can't, all right, so attack. We'll, we'll let the South Sea go. All right, so uh, it got hit. Now, that didn't matter because it was already flooded anyway. Um, oh, because the South Sea had already. Right, so, um, so, it, it, so that didn't hurt too terribly bad. Right, so dikes fail. And now, is there any change to the water flow? We've got this new water, but it's a single. This triple can't flow back in here because Jen built a dike. These doubles are all fine. Singles, yep, everything else is fine. So it is now my turn again. And, okay, so I think this turn, like I was talking, I, we don't want to go any longer without getting some, um, uh, some pumps built. So my first action is, my first and second, I will clear out both of these water. So now that means I can start building dikes in Markvalon. My third action, I will build a dike to cut off the uh, the Zuder the Zuder Sea, the South Sea. So the sea's not getting in, but you know what? Water's still coming in this way. But I, whenever I build, I get to build two. So I have just cut off this water. Dry land, folks. So one, two, three, and now four. I will discard this because that's the region I'm in to build a pump. 
Yay! Okay, we're going to start pumping this water out automatically. Now, the rules suggest we have this little pump action. It's wise to put this on top of the draw pile because it's really easy to forget. Don't forget, before you draw your cards, after you do your actions, before you draw your cards, operate the pumps. So, I've done my four actions, and now I, nope, don't draw your cards yet, operate the pumps. I got the pump. He gets to remove one cube. And it, now, it can't remove these cubes because, oh no! The problem is, it, um, I built this pump here, but there's no water here. And since there's no water here, it doesn't connect to these other ones. So this pump is on dry land. The problem was I had to make the land dry to be able to build, to, uh, to build a, uh, I couldn't build the dikes um, unless I cleared the water out. Shoot. Um, right, right, right. So hold on a second. This game is crazy. Let's, let's pull this back for a second. Let's pull this back. Let's actually rethink this turn. So I had the two water here. I haven't done this. I would like to get the pump built here, but I have to do it in such a way that there's still water. So what I really need to do is I need to staunch the flow up here. Um, yeah, but I still need to staunch it here, which means to build this, I've got to clear these out. <sighs> right. Okay. So I think we're going to have to do this a little bit different. So uh, let's try and think about this a little bit differently, folks. Because uh, again, the strategy in this game is so different from regular pandemic. It's absolutely crazy. So I want to get this thing built here, but it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Although, wait a minute. I can remember Jen's going to be able to send me the Flatoland card, so maybe this is a better place to build. Um, maybe that makes more sense. Okay, let's think about my turn again. First of all, I am going to empty these two out because I need to, or else I can't build. And I will build, I'll build one, but then I will, let's see. I, like, I, I could still build two and just cut this off so that this won't flood anymore. Then, so that's one, two, one, two, three, and then four. I'm just going to move over to Flavorland. So I'm done. Right, okay. This is going to work, although it means we won't get to do pumping until my next turn, but that's okay. So one, two, three, four. I've set the stage. For, um, oh, no, no, no. Ah, one, two, three. Yeah, and four, I, I'm going to stay where I am, and I'm just going to do another dike action. I'll build this up. I'll build a super strong wall so the South Sea is not going to get in here anymore. Or at least not for a long while, not until this zone gets hit quite a few times. So that was it. One, two, three, four. Right. Um, and, although, no, yeah, yeah, okay, so that's fine. I, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. So four. Now, um, I don't have pumps. We aren't operating pumps yet. I'm just going to draw two cards. One, two, three, four, five, which means I'm going to be up to my hand size again. I get an orange, and I get another orange. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? We needed to get, oh, we need a bunch of yellows. Uh, oh, and we need the oranges. I've got three oranges and two yellows. Jen has an orange as well. So pretty soon, Jen's going to want to hand me her the fourth orange, and then I'm going to want to start heading down here once I got five oranges to complete this objective. But we'll worry about that in a bit. So anyway, so all I did was I, I cleared some stuff out so I could really buttress this up. Right. And I've drawn cards. Now, um, dikes fail. We've got to hit two more spaces. The delta gets hit again over here, which was what? It was oh here. So um, this area, it's, it's got there's nothing that it can lose. So it, unfortunately, gets a second cube. So water's going to spread from there now. And marker vault. Hey, right where I am. Okay. I don't mind if you flood now, buddy. Um, because that's the thing. I had to clear this out so that I could um, build it up so that... Because here's the thing. Even if this hadn't gotten hit, at the end of my turn, this water was going to flow back in here. So I knew this was going to get reflooded. And then on a future turn, when I build the pump here, then this pump will be connected by waterways to all of this water, and it could start working. So that's why it took me a little bit longer than I wanted. And hey, that means this water, I don't care. I was fully expecting this water to flow in anyway. So that card didn't hurt at all. All right, and so now we got to check for water flowing one more time. This is the new trouble spot. There's two over here, which means one flows over there. There's already two there. One, this is unconnected or unprotected, so one flows over there. We're getting lower. We got to start clearing this water out, folks. This is getting scary, but um, the water flows. It is now Jen's turn. Jen, first of all, she's finally made it. She is going to build our second port. Which means either Jen or I could instantly teleport to either of these ports, and that's going to help me get down south really quick. For her second action, 
she is going to use her port manager thing to send me this, which puts my hand size over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got rid of a card now. I'm keeping my four oranges. I'm keeping this because this is going to let me build the pump station. I'll get rid of this green. Although this green can be used to build another port. But you know what? There's more green cards coming. Because I'd like to keep these yellows and start... No, nah, you know what? Okay, I think I will give up one of the yellows. I will give up the... Is it going to be the delta or this area over here? Hmm. So it's this or this. These would be great places to build pumps too. But you know what? The pump I'm going to build here is going to affect everything. So... Um... I'll give up this one. All right, so right, so I'm giving you a little bit of variety. So Jen's first action was she mailed me a card using her warehouse manager power. Yay! Okay, her second action um, is going to be. Uh, oh, she's got another green. So she wants to build a another port. Now wait a minute. Oh, this hasn't happened before. Can Jen? Because like uh, the bad cards, there's two good cards for every zone as well. Could Jen build a second port in the same place? That has not come up in my plays. I don't think so. Right, okay, so it says right here in the rules, uh, discard a region card that matches your current region to place a port from supplying the region. If all ports are in use instead, uh, players can move ports for... Re um, um, no, so she could. She could put a second port here. It's incredibly wasteful because we better put ports elsewhere. Normally, I wouldn't do it, but in this game, it makes sense to do it to get this objective completed quicker. So, it's kind of insane. Jen's first action was she sent me a card. Her second action is she will move just by instantly coming to this port. Her third action is, it's insane, she'll build a second port here. Totally wasteful except for the fact that she wants a lot of ports. And her fourth action, what the heck, she'll go on ahead and pump out this tiny little bit of water that was being a bother. All right. So one more port and we can complete this objective. That was Jen's turn. Now, operate pumps. There are no pumps. Draws two cards and she gets an orange. And a, All right, still no... Oh! Her last green. We can get our last port done. Yay! Um, now, dykes fail. We draw two. Uh, uh, Kenemerland, which is right here. Kenemerland wants to lose. Hey, I guess it'll lose one of these dykes that I built up. Certainly not this one, because I just built this to cut it off. Um, so it'll lose one. And Lan uh, Van Massenball, which is over here. So it's got to lose one of these. What the heck? We'll just go on ahead and lose this one that heads off south. All right, so it got hit twice, and now water flows. I don't think either of those matter, because I just pulled one off here. So nothing's changed in terms of water flow. Yep, everything's fine. All the twos are flowing into one. The threes are flowing into twos. Everything's cool. And now it's my turn. Now, folks, finally, you've been very patient. First thing, I will build a pump in marker involved. It will start working. Um, the nice thing is, if this dike ever goes, it could start fill, um, pumping out this water as well. Because this thing now has a reach via this. This, this pump could take water from here, 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 from here. This pump has a long reach. But say as soon as both of these were to come out of here, then the pump can't reach here because there's not a stretch of water connecting them. So this pump is going to be busy for the rest of the game, keeping this under control. It can't reach all the way. No, it can reach all the way down here. It could pull this one out. Or it could pull one of these. So now we only have a double problem there. All right. So that was pretty cool. Um, man, I would love to build another pump up here, though. Um, here's the interesting thing. There's no reason to pull one out of here. Because if, if the pump pulled one out of here, the, the sea is open right here. It would flood right back in. So this pump is going to be used to fill out this stuff that's at the far edges that is far away from the sea. And then eventually, once it's all filled out, then I'll fill a dike in here and we'll start turning stuff around. So that was the first. I almost, I just need one more orange. Jen has one more orange. She will be able to give that to me anywhere in the world. So I think for the rest of this turn, it's time for me to head south. So my first action was I built. Do I want to, before I leave, uh, well, if I want to put up more um, dikes, I would have to pump first. I'm not going to do it. The pump will work on that. My second action is I will just very quickly travel down here. And my third action is I will come here and then my fourth action there. Is that the fastest way I could go? I could have gone one. Well, actually, no. I used one. So I could have gone two, three, four, or I could have gone two, three, four. Either way, actually. If I were farther up here, it would be great to teleport. But Delphalon is so huge, I can just walk through it. Um, so one, I built a thing. Two, three, four. Next round, after Jen has given me the fourth card I need um, on her turn, I'll be able to come down here and complete. So we'll be halfway done. 
Um, we will, because Jen's going to finish the, the fourth port. I'll have built this project. And the other stuff we've got to do is, which I haven't even thought about, I've got to get up here, dry all of this land out, patch it up so water won't get in. And then um, once we do that, we can start discarding purple cards to add population, to add farmers and cities and towns up into these zones because we've got that objective as well. But the danger is, if we, like I said right up front, if we start filling this up, but then I would have to put water in, the water replaces when the population moves out. So that's something I gotta worry about as well. But in the meantime, we're doing pretty good down there. What's up next? Okay, so that was, um, those are my four actions. Now we operate pumps. Time to pump, baby. Pump, baby pump. Do, um, you know what? I, just, I don't like this triple here. Let's go on ahead and um, move this triple up. Because here's another thing. There's a triple here. If this zone were ever to get hit again, no zone can ever have more than three cubes in it, just like regular pandemic. Instead of putting a fourth cube here, if it got, if this valley got hit, I would instead have to flood, which means additional cubes would have to move to adjacent spaces. I don't like that. This pump's first action is going to be to pull this out. It'd be either this or this. Um, but no, there's no reason to pull this because then this will just flood right back in. So I'm going to pull this out and start drawing up the valley. Okay, so it's operated. Now I get my two cards. No storms, no storms, no storms, no storms. Oh, purples. I can start working on population up there. All right, and I, did my hand size go over again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I'm over hand size again. Let's see. Jen, she got the other green she needs, so I'm going to dump this green because Jen's got the last green to build the last pump. All right, so my hand size is up, uh, and now dikes continue to fail, and we've got um, Van Atleta again, which is over here. Hey, it's right where Jen is. She'll be able to pump that out. Wait, oh, hold on a second. No? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, so this actually still has a dike, so we'll have this dike go away. I think maybe I put water in here before when it should have been a dike that fell. My mistake. As always, turn the Klingon subtitles on and Paula will set you straight. So this made that dike go away and Roar and Overmoss all the way down here. Now there's no dikes, so that means um, the storm has made water start to appear way down here in the south. And if more water shows up, it'll start flooding north because we've already lost all the dikes down there. So those were the two and now water flows. I don't think anything's changed. Yep. Uh, there are no triples. Doubles are leading into singles appropriately. Everything's fine. That was my turn. It is Jen's turn now. And what is she going to do? She, first of all, because she's the parish manager, she'll give me this. And now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to discard something because I'm at my hand size. Oh, okay, I'll get rid of the only yellow I've got, um, which is a pain because we need to collect yellows. And Jen's got three yellows. And then we'd only need two more. Yeah, okay. I'll give up one of these purples. I'll give up Nordish. Although this would let me get up here really fast if I needed to. <sighs> After I'm done here, I am going to want to head back north. So, okay, I, I will save the yellows for later. I'll discard that. So my hand size is fine. Jen's first action was she shipped via the warehouse system a card to me. And now she needs to go to Peel in Mas Valley, which is way over here. So Jen's second action is she will instantly move. Um, so uh, that's her second action. Her third action, and then her fourth action, she'll do this. And she has built the fourth port. This mission is done. One objective down. We've got a teleport network. Jen can still teleport stuff to me. And we've got three more objectives to do. OK, at the end of her turn, operate the pumps. Uh, the pump acts on everybody's turn. So this guy's going to keep on working. And now what's he going to do? So now it's not quite as nice. If he takes this out, no, yeah, he'll take this out because there's only a double here, so it won't spread back in. But now if we take another one out, then it'll automatically spread back in. So the pump's continuing to work, um, um, you know, undoing the damage that was done earlier. And so now Jen gets two cards. No storms, no storms. Stormy weather. My gal and me ain't together. Keeps raining all the time. So sea levels rise. We're still only drawing two cards. Um, and there's still only, the sea levels haven't risen, but once we go up one more time, we're drawing three cards, and there'll be three cubes here, which means doubles spill out into the land. So there's a, a storm. So sea levels rise. We've done that. Uh, we got a new major breach in Born Putin. Born Putin um, gets a triple hit, which is right here, which just means boom, boom, boom. It just lost all of these dikes, which means water is going to start spreading. And now when it rains, it pours. We shuffle all these, we put them back at the top of the deck, just like the pandemic you know and love. And hopefully I shuffle this well. And um, now 
Uh, right, so the storm is done and water flows. Or no, no, dikes fail. So we're still only drawing two, and we get Land Van Aten again. Uh, right, so this one, like I guess I think they just wrong before. So it had one more dike. Now this area is completely exposed, no protection at all for those two ports. And uh, Zud Beveland, which is South Beveland right here. It gets its second cube from the storms, which means its water is going to start spreading all throughout the south line. No, no. So let's spread the water. We got a double here. That means there's uh, no dike in that direction. There's no dike in that direction. There's no dike in that direction. Uh, in this direction, it's high land, so it won't flow over here. This will never flood. So now, all of a sudden, we've got a new problem down south. Ouch! But uh, don't worry, it's my turn. That's a, I'm a man of action here. First of all, my first action, I will move. Second action, I will discard all five to complete the, the great Delta Verken. Um, hooray! I have completed. This is our second objective we've done, folks. And remember, when you complete the big objectives, even if they're not an objective you're required to do, you get a bonus. When built, you may place a dike adjacent to the Nord Z in each of the following regions. Ah, so, right, I forgot which one this one. I thought this was, some of the times they let you clear a lot of water out. This is the one that lets you rebuild the fallen seawall. But, so, none of these have fallen yet, except for this one. So, our bonus was we got one dike built for free, which is not nothing because this one, this one just went down, right? Oh, no. Has this been down for a while? Ah, this is the tricky thing about the game, folks. It's very, you got to keep track. When, this thing apparently has been down for a while. As soon as this went down, at the end of that turn, the water came in here. So, um, but anyway, now... We uh, completely rebuild the wall. Like I said, at some point I, I missed that. When this came out, we should have let the sea go in. So, but we've completed our second of four objectives. And I'm down here. I have no orange cards that would let me build a pump to start pumping all this stuff out. And Jen um, has Delfland, which you could give me. But unfortunately, Delfland isn't, isn't connected to all there. So we'll have to worry about that in a bit. But anyway, so my first action was I moved. My second action, I did that now for my third and fourth action. What am I going to do? I could stay down here and start cleaning this up, but you know what? It's all completely closed off. The sea is not getting in. This has reached equilibrium. Nothing else is punching. As long as none of these zones get hit, it's safe. Um, there, but this card must be in here. So this is going to get hit eventually, at which point the sea... Um, and once the sea hits three, then two will come in here, and we'll get more spills into the adjacent. So do I stay down here and try to clean this up, or do I head over to the... Do I just instantly come over to the ports to do something, or do I use one of my purples to instantly go all the way back up here and start working up here so I can work on this, clear out these areas so I can start getting population built? I think that's, I'm going to, I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to give up, um, let's see, which one? So I, I can instantly come here, which would be interesting. If I come here, then I could start clearing these out and dike this up. So we're, we're but you know what, we've got dikes here. It, I wouldn't mind coming here, clearing these out, just to dike these up so that if this area gets... But no, I'll go all the way north. My third action, I'm coming all the way up. And I've, I've only got one card in my hand. And for my fourth action, I will just move over here to Friesland, where I've got work to do. I've got to pump this out. I've got to um, let the... I've got to rebuild the defenses so that population can start flourishing here. So that was my turn. And now, after I'm done, operate the pumps. We only have one. If it pulls this out, it's going to come right back in. If it pulls this out, it's going to come right back in because of that double. Uh, if it pulls this out, then this water will come right back in. So I think this pump has outlived its usefulness until I start... Because if I were to build a dike here and then take this out, well, but then it would flow back in. So we've still got a lot of leaky faucets over here. So I think this pump at this point has um, outlived its usefulness. But it's still going to pump something that it's connected to. Um, what the heck, I'll go on ahead and do this because uh, these doubles won't. So yeah, so there we go. So it worked. I draw two cards. I know there's not going to be a storm because Jen just got hit with one. And I get, ooh, a purple. I need purple cards to start dis discarding them to populate population up here for um, our population objective. All right, so we draw two and then Dykes fails some more. Delfland. Hey, remember how I really uh, built the defenses up? They're almost gone now. I should head back and um, buttress that again. Delfland and Lan van Massenval over here. So it's going to lose one of its dikes. I guess it'll be this one. 
There were, once we're a double, now they're all gone. So those were the two, and now water flows. <coughs> Let's make sure we're fine. There's no triples. This double has flowed into all the singles. This double has flowed in, flowed in. this double's flowed in. Um, yep, it's all fine again. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm sorry I missed that one over there. But anyway, so that was my turn. It is now Jen's turn. She's got a whole new world. You know what? Oh, hey, you know what, folks? I did not use Norden Smorden, whatever, to um, travel up north. I kept that in my hand because I forgot. Jen had uh, Zuder Zay Verenigen. Um, which basically she could have played any time on my turn to move me. Jen played this to move me up where I ultimately wanted to go. So instead of me discarding a card, Jen moved me here to get rid of that I, um, card. And that meant I had one more action here for my last action. Ah, I could pump this so that I could build, but then I have no more actions to build. Shoot, because I went one, two. Oh, but no, I have two actions. I moved in here, I built, then Jen teleported me up here. I have two more actions. My third action will be to clear this out, and then my fourth action will have been to dike up the holes. So, water is no longer flowing into Friesland, and Norden is Norden. Um, it's all completely closed off. That was a much better use, and I've still got now three purple cards. Very nice. So anyway, so water flows, it's Jen's turn. Oh, this is exciting. So, Jen doesn't have to worry about ports anymore. We're going to need to get, let's see, between the two of us, we have two yellows. We need three more yellows to complete this objective. And by the way, when we complete this, if we do this, the reward is, when built, place up to four dikes on yellow regions. So we'll be able to put dikes anywhere on yellow regions, whether they're flooded or not. So that would be a really huge help to um, stop the flow of water throughout all of here. Um, so that could be pretty handy. But it's going to take a while. We have to just, you know, bide our time until we get more yellow cards. But we're not going to throw any more yellow cards away. I'm regretting having thrown away the yellow card I did throw away. So what is Jen going to do in the meantime? Uh, I think Jen needs to get back on water patrol. What are we going to do? Um, right, so, okay, so she's at a port. She could move to any port, but she can't move from her port wherever she wants to go. However, she could play any of these cards to go there. We're saving these yellows. But I think Jen is going to go travel directly to Delfland. Her first action to get back into... No, no, no. Actually, she'll save Delfland. She will instead travel to Flevoland. Oh, no, no. We need more purples. Because the more purple cards we have, the more population. We need five population up here. So yeah, Jen will travel to Delfland. She'll save that purple. So that was her first action. Now for her second action, this area is getting weak again. She doesn't get to do doubles like me, but her second action will be that. And let's see. What does she want to do? Um... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I think I forgot on my turn. Didn't I pump? Didn't I pump this out? Yeah, I totally forgot. I pumped. Oh, no, no, that's right. Flavolon got hit again. Is that what it was? No, I, I pumped this out last turn. I totally forgot. That's why you have this on here so as not forget. All right. Um, oh, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting all kinds of flighty, folks. The longer I film, the more scattered my brain gets. Anyway, so Jen, um, uh, she boated up here. She reinforced that a little bit. Uh, it would be nice. She'll go three and four. Because she's thinking if she clears this out and does this, she could start trying to dry this area all up. And then if this dike fails, then the pump could start working to clear the rest of that out. That's a possibility. Yeah, she'll go for that. Okay, so three, four. She's done. Now she's got to draw two cards. No, the pump works. The first, the pump works. So now the pump, everywhere it can reach. Okay, it'll take this double out of here. Nice. All right, so everything singles. So, um, right. So the pump works. Now she draws two cards. And she doesn't get stormed. Oh, our third yellow. Our f oh, my gosh. We got a lot of yellows, folks. Jen now has four yellows. Maybe we need to change it up, and I need to give her the fifth yellow so that she can come over here and complete that. Cool. So she drew two cards, and uh, now the dikes fail. Two more. Uh, uh, Kenemerland, which is down here. Kenemerland, right where Jen is. It gets hit. Hey, it's a good thing Jen um, reinforced that. Cool. Kenemerland and Markervald. Okay, yeah, uh, it'll, this is exactly what I was hoping for. It clears that up. So now, um, if Jen uh, dikes this, the pump can start working and empty all of this out because the sea will be completely... Oh, no, it still gets in here. We have to dike those off as well. All right, so those were the two that hit. Those were very, very good hits. And now water flows. All right, the, the sea level is still at two. So singles are flowing in here. Singles are flowing in here. 
Um, right, we're good. Wow, this is really working out well. Okay, so that was Jen's turn. It is now my turn. I'm up north. I have completely closed off this area where we want to build up our population. So I believe it is time to expand the population. Um, and what you can do is the expand population action means you can discard one, two, or three color cards matching the color of the region you're in. And for every one you discard, you can put a population in. So I've got these three. I'm going to put all three, one, two, three, to put three population in Friesland. And now remember, there can't be more than three cubes here. So I can't put any more. We have to put two population over here, which means we're going to need some more. But all right, so. My first action, and that's a nice thing. Having a whole bunch of cards and using them all at once is a very effective action. With one action, I put down three. Um, it would cost me the same action to only put down one if I had one purple card. So that was my first action. My second action is I don't want these people to get kicked out if any of these dikes fail. So my second action is I will use my incredible hydraulic engineering skill um, by putting a double and a double. And my third action, I'll do it again. We're just going to completely save this area. Uh, double. And what the heck? Let's close this off as well, just in case. All right, so that's it was one and then two, three, and I've got one more action. So I could um, use this to travel south. Right, I'm out of cards. Um, no, I would just move here, and I hope I draw some more purple cards so I can get this population play and also so I can build this protection up so that it can't fall from stormy weather and stuff like that. So that's it. Four actions. Now, let's operate them pumps, everybody. Little pumpy here says now it can reach these. It could pull these out, but the sea will come right back in because Jen hasn't dammed them up. Um, it doesn't really matter. They're all single, so they're all going to refill. She'll go ahead and do this one down south. All right, so the pump activated. Uh, I draw two cards. No storms, no storms, no stormy wet. <gasps> Oh, no, oh, I got an event and storm. What's this event? Move any number of pawns. It's an emergency meeting. Any number of pawns to a single region containing another pawn. Oh, so this would be a way to get together to trade the last yellow card. But anyway, so I'll save that. Storm. Sea levels rise. The sea levels have risen, folks. Everything was going great. Now everything is falling apart. There, now the sea level is three. So now doubles are going to swarm into here, which makes it tougher for Jen to close these off. Doubles are going to swarm in here. Oh, no. So the sea levels rose. We have a major breach. And it's down south. Um, so this area has to lose. It loses one, two. And there's no third, so it gets hit. And so now, um, all right, so it's full. There's triple water down here, which means it would fill in to fill double there. So that's that. And now, when it rains, it pours. There's not a lot of cards here, folks. Things that have been hit recently are going to get hit again very quickly. This is kind of scary. That was the storm. And now, let's see what dikes fail. And we're drawing three from now on. Uh, I thought things were going too well. Um, Van Van Elta gets hit again. Um, right, so there's, there's no dikes there, so it just gets a single water. No big, no big, no big. Uh, and over here, there's still one, so it, uh, that falls over here at this port. And a marker vault, right where our pump is. So it loses one of these that I, I built up. Okay, so that's triple. And now water flows. The sea level has risen, so there's three. Any place where the dikes break, two have to come in. Two came in here. Um, and two would slide to one, but that doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. There's one everywhere else. Let's go back along here. There's three, so two need to be in Flavorland. Um, and two need to be in Nord. All right. And now, so that's it for the triples. Now for the doubles, there needs to be a single, a single. Um, this is all closed off. So, you know what? It could have been a lot worse, folks. That wasn't too terribly bad uh, in the grand scheme of things. All right. Now it is Jen's turn. She is just waiting. She just needs one more yellow card, and then she gets over here and completes our next objective. But in the meantime, what is she going to do? She's going to stick to what she originally wanted to do. She is going to first pump this out. This is a dry area. Second, close off the sea. Um, and now, unfortunately, she only has two actions. So three, she can come over here, and then four. But then the sea is going to come right back in and flood this back again. So Jen can't finish what she started. So Jen um, pumped. She can build in here all she wants. So she built. And she built, and what the heck, she'll build right here. This area is now um, is cut off. It can't flood in here anymore. I wanted to come up and build up here eventually to, to have the pump work on this, but we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. 
Actually, let's go on ahead over here because I think there's the Delphalon and the Kenner Mall. So there's multiples of this. So th these will protect in either of these spots. So Jen cleared. She built, she built, and she's just going to build again. I think she's just going to build again to stave off the inevitable. All right, so she's just building up big defenses again, waiting for the card she wants. Now she's going to draw two, uno, dos, and oh, it's an orange, it's not a yellow. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's the two purples we need. If Jen heads north with these purples, she can, or if she comes back south to the port, she can transfer these to me, and I can get the rest of the population in play. Perfect. All right, so operating the pump. This pump says, hey, Flavaland, she, it could empty out, but the high C is just going to pour right back in here. Same for this. So I don't think the pump can really do, oh, um, all right, oh, so we had a single here. No, okay, the pump will clear this out because it's a single, so it won't spread. So the pump is still slowly getting the stuff that's not touching the C. So that's pretty good. Pump operates. Jen got her two cards. I did that slightly out of order. Um, three dykes fall. Um, oh, man. It, we're in a race now, folks. So, hey, right where Jen is. So, good thing she uh, reinforced that. That's one. Delflond, two, and uh, way down south. Oh, no. A third one comes here. But that's okay. A third one just means a double spills into here and here. So, we're still doing okay. So, three hit. Now, water flows. Um, because there's a triple here, it'll spill into here as a double. Oh, but you know what? This should have been a double already because there were three. This should have been a double a while ago. Sorry, I totally forgot about that because of... Oh, no, it shouldn't because there... Yeah, this was safe. It's because there's a triple here now that this became a double. And this, either of these doubles means this is a single, but that's already taken care of. This triple still isn't getting anywhere new. The doubles are still fine. We're still holding fast, folks. And so now it's my turn. And I want Jen... Ah, uh, shoot. You... You know what? Actually, one, Jen did one last thing on her turn. No, I uh, before Jen's turn was over, I played this to move some, to call an emergency meeting. I moved Jen up here to where I am. Before her turn was over, I played this, and that's gone. Because now, Jen is in position to play the purple she needs. Right. So, first of all, I'm a super engineer. I'm just going to um, put a double so this area is safe. So that's one. Two, I need to go do some work elsewhere. And... And I can go to any of the ports, uh, which gets me down here so I can start cleaning that up. Or, no, no, no. I, I brought that, Jen. So one, I, um, I, that was free. So one, I reinforce this. Two, three, um, four. Yeah, and next turn, I'll spend my action to clear both of these out so I can build in this zone, which means then I could get this cut off. The water will flow back in here. So that's what I did. So one, two, three, four, put Jen into position with my special power, uh, and then left to get ready to start fighting fires. Uh, right, the pump works. The pump will put this back to a, a two, but it doesn't matter because the three is going to fill right back in. So that doesn't matter. Is there anything else? Right, it could take this out, but then the double will flow back in. It could take this out, but the double will flow back in. But what the heck, I'll, I'll just take that. The pump takes that out. I draw two cards. Hopefully, it's the last yellow we need. It is, folks. I think we're, we're looking pretty good. Um, and now, the dykes hit. Zilder, Schmilder, uh, way down here. Right, so a triple hits over here. And from the storms. And a triple hit. A, a one hits way down there, which means it's starting to flood. And Voren Putin, which means, where are you, Voren Putin? You're right up here, which means a double hits there. And now water flows. These are all triples filling into this double. Um, but this triple now here makes a double happen over here. Uh, but then it closes off. This double makes a single happen right here. Um, the water is still... Right, um, this triple makes a double happen right here that poured out. It just came right back. And that's it. So it is Jen's turn. Her first action, she will do these to put two population. And for now, anyway, unless those people evacuate because of flooding, we've completed this objective. All we got to do is get the last yellow in place to win it. Jen's got three more actions. But you know what, folks? I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a good idea of what Pandemic Rising Tide is all about. If you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, four, three, two, one.